In the 1960s, Southern Airport was one of the third busiest airports in Essex. In 2008, Southern Airport started to grow and they spent over £100 million to rebuild. In April 2012, EasyJet set up a business at Southend Airport. When EasyJet opened at Southend Airport in 2012, uh, around 617,000 passengers used the airport, and which 721,661 passengers used in the last 12 months, Southend is now competing with Stansted Airport and London City Airport. I recently visited Southend Airport to find out more. I'm here at Southend Airport, which is one of the South Essex leading employers. In the 1960s, Southend Airport was one of the third busiest airports in Essex. So this terminal here opened up in February 2012. The airport's actually been here since about 1914, but we moved locations, so we were over the other side of the airfield up until about 2008, and then we started building over here. So we opened the original phase one, obviously in 2012, and then we extended and we opened everything up in summer 2014, which was phase two. So in the first, uh, sorry, in the last four years, obviously we've opened up the train station, the control tower, the phase one terminal, phase two terminal. We've also extended our runway. We've got a hotel. We've changed our old terminal now, so that looks after private flights. If you've got a private jet, that's the facility for you. We've still got a couple more projects to go, but they are our biggest projects. Well, I think the new airport's fantastic. It's created so many jobs. I won't fly from any other airport now to go on holiday. I can be get off the plane, on the train, back home again in half an hour. It is absolutely amazing and I wouldn't fly from any other airport. I think it's the best thing that's ever happened is the new expansion to South End Airport. It's brilliant. So obviously by extending the runway that opened up our capability to be able to handle bigger aircraft. So EasyJet actually came down a while ago, so back in the early 2000s. And because of the runway length, they knew they couldn't operate, so we added, obviously, the extension onto them. So we can accept now their Airbus 319s and their Airbus 320s. And it kind of opens it up to different airlines who've got that same kind of aircraft capability to come and operate. So before we did any of the works, obviously, the nearest airport, realistically, was probably Stansted for commercial. So going away, obviously, London City is quite close as well to this area, so it's on the east side of London, but that's seen as more of a business airport. So obviously opening up here, although we don't have thousands of routes and we're not the same size as Heathrow, it gives local people the opportunity to not travel so far to get away on their holidays. So it's only, I mean if you live in South End it's only 10 minutes if that. The parking's cheaper as well, so it just opens it up and gives the local community another option when they go to travel each year. I think this is terrible. I don't, I don't like South End Airport as it's become. It's um, too pol noise pollution, big aeroplanes are coming in. They say there's job opportunities, but I can't see it. It's going to take 10 years before major airlines we compete with Gatwick and Heathrow. So I think it's, it's terrible. It's horrible. Don't like it. No, 